Hi, welcome to my channel. I hopefully you know by now. I'm Jack, this is JTH Books, and today we are going book shopping. Let me tell you, you know, it's it's been a real couple of weeks, it's been a real rough couple of weeks. And what do we do when it's been a rough couple of weeks? We bookshop. We bookshop till we drop. But I don't actually want to drop, so but we do want to buy books. I've got my favourite jumper on. I'm Jisoo, I'm okay. Jisoo stand for life. And I'm ready to go. Now, it is a bit windy out there, so I am going to try and film sort of on the way and in the bookshops. But I don't know how it's going to go, and I don't know how to add music, so I don't know if you just want to hear what's like of the bookshop. I don't know. We'll try. I've got to go to the next town because there's not really a bookshop in my area. Um, there's two in the town next over, but I'm only going to go to the Waterstones. I can't go to the other one. And I'll be honest with you, there was a dude that worked in the other one. Things got a bit flatty, it didn't work out, and now I'm too embarrassed to go back in. But, you know, I've got to be honest. So, I'm basically ready to go, so I'm going to go. Now, hopefully there is footage inserted here now, that, from the bookshop, and I'll see you with the haul when I get back. How many do you think I'm going to buy? There are some I know I want. But I'm not going to tell you because I was if they don't have them, that's going to be embarrassing for us all. So we'll just wait and see what we've got. Well, what I've got when we come back. I am shopped out. I am absolutely, that. I've, I've spent a lot. And I'm not gonna do this in the car because it turns out this is actually really embarrassing. It's true what those YouTubers say, this is embarrassing. So I'll speak to you when I get home because this is embarrassing. There's someone right there and they're watching me, so I've got to go. Damage has been done. I said I was gonna spend and I spent. I spent more than I thought I was gonna spend actually. But it was worth it. Let's have a look, shall we? First up, I got The Mercies by Kieran Millwood Hargrave. Hargrave? Hargrave? Hargrave. I read her other book, The Dance Tree, at the beginning of April. 
Yeah, it was the first book I finished in April and I loved it. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. And as soon as I finished that, I thought I've got to buy this. I'd heard incredible things anyway and I was, you know. But then when I read that, I thought I've got to have it. Winter 1617, the sea around the remote Norwegian island of Arda is thrown into a vicious storm. A young woman, Marin, watches as the men of the island out fishing perish in an instant. <laughs> Getting rid of men. It's going to be a great novel. That's all I need to know. I was going to read the rest, but I don't want to spoil it for myself. But I have heard great things, so I'm very, very excited. Violets by Kyung Suk Shin. I was actually part of the cover reveal for this. And they said they'd send me a proof or a finished copy, but they never did, which is fine. I want to read it. It's East Asian fiction, it's Korean fiction, that's all I care about. It's translated by Anton Herr. Oh, well, oh, I need to support something then. But I am incredible. Oh, I wanted to get that as well. Oh, and I wanted to get that other one. Anyway, incredibly excited for this one. Set in the 1970s. Again, I'm not reading it to you because I do not want to spot it for myself. But very, very excited for this one. Some more Korean fiction, Lemon by Kwon Yi Sun. I thought this was out on paperback, but my water sense had a hardback and I was snap that up. This is a thriller. Thrillers, they're not my thing. They're not my thing. I did have an eye about that. I was like, oh, should I, should I? I don't like a thriller, but it's a short thing. I want to read more Korean fiction. So I am very excited. It really is short. It's not even 150 pages for a thriller. I should get that done in one night, but I won't. Violets by Alex Hyde. Now, this was a total recommendation by because of my friend Simon at um, Savage Reads. I think Savage Reads, I take him below. You all know him, it doesn't matter. But he loved this when he makes a. Um, Dedicated video just to one book. You know it, he loves it. He said it made him cry, so oh no, it's going to make me cry. So yeah. Saw so it there, I thought, I'm going to pick it up. I am. Cursed Bunny by Bora Chung. Translated again by Anton Her. You're welcome, Anton. Um, shortlisted for the International Booker. Is that part of why I picked it up? Yeah, of course. It's Korean fiction, so you know I want to read it. I actually have... I didn't think it was quite the short as I've heard really mixed things about it, but you've got to give these things a try, haven't you? And um, there were some more book... Well, I'll show you. There was another one, a book of shortlist one. But I'm going to London in a few weeks, and I decided to save it for the end by the end because I've seen that foils have got signed copies. I'd like a signed copy. What can I say? Look at the size of that. This is Tomb of Sand. This was the only one they had left. They had a little, well, if I've put it in, you've seen the little display they had. I took the last copy. How many pages? I try not to read the. I just not got page number on the end page. That's ridiculous. Oh, sweaty. Um. Oh, I've still got page numbers in, but I've heard really good things about this, actually. Winner of the English Pen Award already. Well, I've got another English fiction book from Tilted Axis up there, and I, and I want to read more Indian fiction, so... In Northern Indian, an 80-year-old woman slips into a deep depression at the death of her husband, then resurfaces to gain a new lease on life. Oh, yeah, I'm excited for this one. I mean... And the Book of Jacobs. They went for the Chunksters. Those judges went for the Chunksters on the international. Okay. And last but not least, so how many is this? How many did I buy? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So unnecessary. Uh, Eleanor knows. I have seen this 
This is everyone's favourite so far from what I've seen. Everyone says this is the one to beat. And I don't know much about this one. Again, I don't like to know, but I don't know why, but that Booker long list, that Booker international long list, I want to read them all. I even, you know, and the short list, I thought they chose, well, I can't say because I haven't read any. But just so attractive to me, just that Booker long list this year. I thought, no, I'm going for it. They all sound really interesting. I want to, always want to read more translated fiction. So, no, I'm not going to read the back. But yeah, I've seen this as people's favourite, so I'm very, very excited for this one. This was one of the ones I went with in mind. And so was this. And so was this. I, I wanted these three. And the other ones, like I said, I'll wait until I go up to London because they're queer books. So I want to buy them from maybe Gates the Word. You've got to support those queer independent bookshops. And... um. I wanted a manga, but they didn't have it. But I'm pretty sure they had it last time, and I just didn't pick it up. But I could be making that up, because I tend to imagine things in these bookshops. So, yeah, that was my... I will say, I do wish they had a little bit of a bigger... I wish my local like, Wallstones was bigger. I do. I can't help it. It's when I see other people's Wallstones, they have just bigger, more selection. And I want that. I want that. I want that. I don't know where the other closest one is, but I'm not going to travel it. It takes me, like, 20 minutes to drive to that one. I was just went around right there, didn't I? Also, the dude that served me, if you're watching this, <laughs> my name's Jack. Let's get together and feel all right. Oh, God, I don't know why I just said that. We'll ignore that. So, yeah, these are the seven books I brought. I hope this was all right. I'm, I'm not sure myself. I might not even see the light of day of this video, but... um, I probably will take you... To London when I go to London and around the bookshops maybe I do like a little weekend reading vlog because I've got the day off after and then we'll see how that goes but yeah so these are the seven books I brought have you read any do you plan on reading any how long is this going to take me six months probably but yeah give this a thumbs up if you've liked it subscribe you know do your thing or just never watch one of my videos again I wouldn't blame you so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon